100 years ago, a small group of courageous girls stepped forward at the 1909 Boy Scouts rally and asked its founder, Robert Baden-Powell, for something for the girls. Guiding has come a long way since then. The movement has travelled all over the globe with 10 million members worldwide and over 500,000 here in the UK. This weekend, they will be celebrating the centenary all across the world, including right here in Manchester. With me now is Girl Guiding Region Chief Commissioner Sue Lomas and nine-year-old Brownie. Katie Helsby. Thank you very much, both of you, for joining us this afternoon. Now, when I, I always remember when I was growing up that everyone was talking about brownies and guides and all my friends, and I missed out. I never went to, to brownies or guides. Is it still, I mean, the figures show it is, is popular. Is it as popular as it used to be? Oh, yes, we've still got uh, a waiting list, in fact. You know, we've got room for more if we could get more adult volunteers. But I think lots of girls, uh, one in every eight-year-old girl is a brownie um, uh, across the country. So it's still really popular, yeah. And how much has it changed over, say, the 100 years, but uh, certainly from when maybe I was growing up, how, how much has it changed? I don't think it's changed in its relevance. I think that's the important thing. It's, it's kept being relevant and it's stayed being something that girls want to do, as you say. And so it's changed to keep up with what, what girls of today really want. And it's what they tell us they want as well. They decide what's going on. So at the moment, you know, the focus is around um, adventurous activities, being able to be together with other girls, not having to worry about boys, um, <laughs> gaining in self-esteem, teamwork, all those those sorts of things uh, yeah there's uh, plenty of time to worry about boys until we don't need to worry about <laughs> oh that absolutely yet. yeah Let, let's bring katie in who's uh, nine years old and you're obviously in the brownie uniform which looks fabulous brown and yellow and uh, you've been in it for a while what kind of fun things do you do in the brownies katie well we do sometimes brownie camp and we do lots of activities and it's just really good and uh, do you think you'll graduate to girl guides or do you think you'll stop at brownies? Do you fancy carrying on and being a girl guide? Yeah. Yeah. OK, what is it you love about it? Have you made lots of friends? Does it feel nice and safe and like you have lots of fun? Well, we have lots of fun and you just meet loads of new friends that are sometimes older and sometimes younger. Mm -hmm. OK. And just to come back to you then, Sue, as well, have you got anything planned for the... Obviously, it's the 100th anniversary of the Girl Guiding uh, movement. Have you got anything planned, any big celebrations? I know you've got your celebratory T-shirt on today. I have, yes, 100 <laughs> years, it says here. Um, we've got celebrations across the country. Over half a million uh, members will be celebrating. But uh, the biggest event, actually, in the UK is at Heaton Park tomorrow. We've got 8,500 girls in this awful weather, <laughs> but it's going to be good, I know. Um, doing all sorts of exciting things. They're going to be abseiling, they're going to be um, ice skating, they're going to have to learn circus skills, um, grass sledging, all sorts of different things. Real uh, girl power, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's the Spice Girls without the platform heels. So what <laughs> well, would you say... Some of, them, some of us wear platform heels, actually. <laughs> what would you say to any young girls who might be watching or any mums thinking, oh, I'd love my daughter to be in brownies or girl guides, how do they go about getting involved? Oh, get in touch with, well, we've got a website, www.girlguiding.org.uk, um, so get in touch with them through that, um, or just go down, there's lots of different places where there are units meeting, just go down and say you'd like your daughter to, to join in. And, and if you'd like to help as well, then we'd be happy to have mums involved as well. You that always need great. volunteers. Always need volunteers. OK, yeah. well, hopefully it will go well tomorrow, despite the unpleasant weather. I know we're going yes. to send our cameras down to the We can have fun Park. in any weather. <laughs> Just tomorrow it'll be in Wellington. And what's the sign? Because I've forgotten. Do you oh, still the sign. Have a sign? Yes, this is the sign. Lovely. Can you make can you the do sign it, as well? Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks Thank very you. much indeed. Thank you.